pandas. It's a module provided in Python which we can use to manipulate the data or to explore the data or to make the curves on our data as we want. As per the documentation it says, Pandas is a fast, powerful, flexible and easy to use open source data analysis and manipulation tool which is built on top of the Python programming language. Hello everyone, welcome to the channel and to understand the concept very clearly, please watch the video till the end. Once you are done with watching the video, do not forget to like, comment, subscribe and hit the bell icon. So first thing which we are going to learn today is reading CSV or text file which is also known as flat files. Let's have a look at its definition. It says pandas facility with function named as read csv which we can use to read a csv or a text file so along with this function pandas provide a number of parameters which we can specify but some of them are important which we will be covering over there over here what all are those things which we will be covering are separator header number of rows which we want to read specifically from a csv or text file then if there are some duplicate columns in our csv file that we're gonna see how we can manage them and then we're gonna see how we can prefix some columns with some desired characters and something like that so without wasting the time let's jump to the python id and let's see how can we start reading the csv file so here is our python ide First thing first which we need to do is import the pandas library. If you don't have pandas installed in your system, we will be recording another video how to install pandas and then you can watch. But if it is required now, you can just Google it and it's easily available on how to install the pandas. So select this and run it. So now pandas is imported in our system in our session and that is defined as pd you can say anything like x or maybe y or maybe z whatever you want you can say but as as for the standard we keep on using pd right so there uh, there is not a hard and fast rule whatever you want you can just do that now the point comes in how to read a csv file in pandas so here i'm going to show you the way where I have my CSV file on the location other than the walking directory so that you will be understanding no matter where the file is no matter what the working directory is you will be able to import that very easily on Windows let's say I gonna say this employee data which I gonna import it and then you need to see pd means you are saying pandas dot if you see you get a list in spider if you don't get it you can just simply type it type it read it, csv because i'm getting it i'll just select that and hit enter within this bracket you need to provide the location where you have the file in quotes you can use double quote or maybe you can use single quotation so let's see where do i have my own file so here i have my file so i will copy this location and this is the file which i want to read over here which is employee let's see how we can read that now so in windows when you provide the location where you have your file you get this slash which is called the backward slash now you need to change it to the forward slash then only you will be able to read this in windows and then here you need to provide the file name dot the extension let me double check it the spelling seems to be correct and now you can simply run this so this is how you can simply read a csv file but if you notice over here it gives us an error which says unicode decode error so to fix this you can simply say engine equals to python means you are telling pandas look i am trying to read this thing in python so when you do this it has been imported now let's see how we can see if that has been imported so in pandas so this is the data frame which contains the data from employee csv file but 
this has many rows if you want to check how many rows and columns are there in this particular data frame you can simply use shape and you can run this this will tell you there are 99 rows and 4 columns if you want to see some top 10 or maybe top 5 rows you can just say top 10 head 10 and here you have this thing so anyway head and tail i'll be covering in separate video here just for your knowledge you can use head to see the top 10 if you don't provide any number by default it shows you the top 5 observation from your data frame this is how you can just read one csv file sometimes it is possible that even if you use engine equals to python that is still keep you giving the same kind of error so in that situation you need to provide one more value which is called encoding and along with this value which is iso88591 so if you provide that also then for sure it's gonna work and you would not have any kind of error in importing a csv file so this is it how you uh, this is how you can read a csv file now let's see if you if you have csv stands for comma separated value let's suppose if you have another file which does not have which is not comma separated for example this file here you can see pipe has been used as separator so how you can read that and on top of that this is a text file so let's see how we can read this before we proceed let me just have this location copied or maybe let's try doing this i'm gonna say it's separator pd simple you're gonna do the same kind of stuff from here till here i'm gonna copy this i just need to change the file name which i can copy from here and just change this along with the extension keep in mind that you had to remove the extension as well because previously it was csv now you're going to read text file so you're going to say txt and then select this and run this so it has been executed let's check the data separator and then say head and let's run this and see how does our data looks like this is how our data looks like if you can see we have the separator but in our table which we are creating the data frame which we are creating we don't require this pipe so how we gonna say pandas so we just need to say separator and what's the separator we gonna use is pipe so you just provide the separator no matter what separator you might have comma you might have pipe you might have uh, any other special character to separate the columns right so you can just provide that within single code or maybe double code but the parameters should be separate sep all right and then execute this and now let's check the top five observation here we go now we don't have that separator and we have clear data within separate columns so this is how you can use the separator no matter what separator your data has you just need to check the separator and then you can provide with set parameter then we're gonna read header sometime it will happen that your csv file does not have header means the column name so in that situation what will happen let's let's face a situation something like that we're gonna say m header and let's read the first file itself because our system is working fine so i didn't i don't need to provide this parameter only engine will be enough now let's run this let's check out the record how does it looks like by taking head which will show us top five observations so like you can see you already have the headers in our data we already have the 
uh, headers in our data all right so for now i gonna make it the way that it does not have any header so how can you say that let's say header and you're gonna say none so if you say none this will show this first column contact name city country and transaction amount as the observation so like you can see this is the first observation which is available over here and then your columns are named like this 0 1 2 3 all right so in that situation if you get some situations situation something like this so you can simply specify the row number which you want to make as a header so i'm gonna say zero i'm assuming i'm making it even if in this present scenario even if i don't provide this parameter it will work absolutely fine but just to make it practical i am giving this parameter over here so let's run this now here we go you can see the call the first row has been captured as the column name let's try to make this one as the header let's see what happens here we go now whatever row you provide that becomes that becomes the column name and the rows which were on top of that that will be removed like on top of that if you look at here this value was in the first row and this was the header but if when you say the, read this as header then the value which was on top of this that has been removed so that's something which you need to keep in your mind this is how you can use the header parameter in read csv function now let's see how this prefix works simple read csv then i will again use the same data over here as well let's run this there is some problem we need to provide this in quotations and then you, we can run this so here it has been imported now the thing which we wanted to use is prefix let's first have a look at this data underscore prefix dot head so if you see this is not different from the one which we were reading previously now let's suppose if you want to prefix some value before the column names right before the column names so how can you do that so for that you can use let's say you have contact name and you want to say test contact name test underscore contact name you want to say test underscore city you want to say imp underscore country or whatever it is so how can you use that so let's say prefix but this has a limitation uh, i'll show you what is the limitation but first you just need to provide the value which you want to use as prefix so here i'm going to use emp underscore as the prefix let's run this this is going to give us some error reason whenever you use prefix the header should be none i mean the table should not have the header so for that we need to make it header equals to none like you can see here value it provided us the value error argument prefix must be none if argument header is not none all right so this is why we just use that header equals to none and then you can run this and here we go now so when your header is none you will get a default column you will get the default column names which will be 0 1 2 3 all right and the value which you provided to prefix it that has been prefixed with that so this is how prefix works if you're hearing the dogs barking please ignore that i can't help with that please bear with that now let's see what do we have next next it says manage duplicate columns how can we manage the duplicate columns for example assume in your csv file you have two columns named as city how can you manage that if you don't use this parameter that will be overwritten with the second one let's try that i 
and simple say read csv and then you're going to provide the location where you have your data and then we're going to provide the file name so here i have already created a suitable file which would have duplicate columns let me show you first like you can see we have two columns named as city so if you don't use that it will be overwritten so if you want to keep both of these city column you're going to use that manage duplicates so here i just provided the file name and then i need to put the extension of that file that was a csv file so i have written here csv now i need to say engine equals to python and then let's read this this i am putting so that we could see the top five observation let's see what happens over here so like you can see by default it has managed to put ct.1 but not every time it will do so in that case you need to use manage duplicates to be on safer side we will use we just need to say true so they this is, this is this will give you the same result which we just saw because this time by default pandas managed to read the duplicate column but not this will not happen every time by default it is true by default this parameter is set to be true let's see what do we have next the next one is n rows so like you saw in our data set we had 99 rows what if we want to just read 50 rows how can we read that so first let's just copy this i will say n rows equals to pd let's paste this and here we don't require this parameter actually Here we just gonna say employee employee and let's check out the shape down over here and then let's run this so here we can say 99 rows we have now we're gonna say n rows comma n rows and we want to read only 50 rows so we can just see those and now you can see we have only 50 rows all right so this is how you can use the specific number of rows out of your entire CS. thank you very much for watching the video i just hope that it helped you just in case if you have any kind of doubt do not forget to put that into the comment section we will definitely try to solve that and Happy learning.